Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up XEMU which is an original Xbox emulator on your Mac. If you are interested, interested I should say, in doing this on Windows or Linux, feel free to check out those videos. I've got all of that stuff covered. This video is for educational purposes. I am not condoning piracy. I own an original Xbox and I own the game that I will be testing, which is Halo Combat Evolved. So, first of all, you need to download a couple of things. If you Google XEMU or go to XEMU.app, go to the description and there will be a link there. First of all, I'll say go to compatibility. This will allow you to see how compatible a particular game is. So, there's one of six categories unknown, where there's not enough information to determine what the state is, you know, they could be perfect, but we don't know. Broken, intro, install, it's playable, perfect. Realistically, I'll, I'll recommend one of these two in terms of trying the games out. But providing feedback is also a great thing as well. Are we playing Halo? If we go, it is playable and you can get into it. So if we go onto it, it also tells you what are some known issues. So you can actually see, is it something that would you know put you off from playing it if it isn't then go ahead so the next thing is if we go back to the home page go to click learn more but take it to the github page click the download mac os button here i'm going to cancel it because i've already got it downloaded next scroll down to the download section and go to mac os i can not even be on the hurry go to getting started so you need four things you need the mcpx boot rom image and the flash ROM image. I'll cover the other two in a second. These two, for legal purposes, I will not be providing. You need to rip it from your own console, or honestly, you probably could Google it and find it as well. Obviously, I'm not condoning that or recommending they do it, but it is always an option. If you have any questions about this or even how to get hold of you know these sort of files, you know, ripping them, feel free to hit us up on Discord. There's a link in the description where we'll help you with anything programming, emulator, whatever, and there is an XE new channel, so feel free to post it in there. And next what you need is a properly formatted hard disk drive image. Sounds pretty complex. Literally you have three options. Use a pre-built Xbox HDD image recommend, recommend that's the recommended option, about 60 kilobytes. Option two, image your real Xbox HDD. Again you can go down this route or build a new HD from scratch and if you use these instructions i recommend this one you'll start downloading and there it is next you need a game so i've already got the game again for legal purposes recommend that you own the game and you rip it yourself but i'm sure if you google it you can find it you will need it in iso format so just bear that in mind if you have any questions about converting this folder format to iso feel free to pop me a message and i will help you out just posting the XEMU channel. Okay, so now I've got everything already downloaded in a folder called Xbox and I've got the MCPX, which is just this one that I'll be using. I've got BIOS, I'll be using this one, and we need to extract these two. To do that, double click each one. That one's done. Double click the actual application, drag and drop that, or copy and paste it, however you want to do it into applications. Now, we just need to run it. You could run it from Launchpad or you know the search up here, whatever you want. So XEMU open. If that happens, just click it again, it will launch this time. So it's about to open flash file. That's fine. Go to machine settings and in here go to browse, go to BIOS, the first one or whatever yours is called. And now for the MCPX hard disk image file, and the EEPROM is automatically created. You can increase the system memory if you want to, and you can skip the start of animation. I would like to keep that. Click save, close it down, and reopen it. And now you'll have the Xbox boot sequence. There we go. Okay, so it says please insert an Xbox disk. 
before we get on to that, I want to show you just a few little features that are available. If you go to your machine, you can inject or load a disk. At the moment, there's no disk in there, so you would have to go load. You can go to input, and by default, you'll probably say something like this. So you can configure any one of the four ports available on you know on the original Xbox. If we go to that, you can connect keyboard. XDMU is built on top of SDL2. SDL2 supports so many controllers that honestly, if you plug and play a controller, you probably get it to work like an Xbox or a PlayStation controller. You should be good to go. And that's it. You can't configure the controls. They just, you know, as they are. So literally, it'll just be these will be the actual keys, be arrow keys as well. And just here's the start. And you can go to network. So you can enable network functionality. I don't need it. But you can, and the beauty of this, not only can you play with other people on an XEMU emulator, you can play with somebody, let's say a friend of yours, that has an original Xbox. So yeah, like that possibility. Settings is what we've already covered. Comes up in, you can pause the game at any moment, you can reset it, which just restart the console, or you can shut it down, which closes the emulator. In view, you can change the scale, it's not really complex stuff that isn't. And then you can go to scale here as well. Ooh. I click full screen, so if you just deselect that. And in debug, you can monitor a bunch of information that pop up here when you're running the game. You can monitor the audio stuff, and you can monitor video as well. One last thing I want to show you: if you go to help, go to report compatibility. When you try a game, I recommend you you, know, you report how compatible it is and your hardware specifications and any problems that may occur. This way, it's just a free way of helping the project out. And go to machine. And now you load again, you go to load disk. Halo ISO. My thinking of nothing happened, go to machine. Reset. As you can see, Halo has now launched. Campaign, done. And the game is running pretty darn smooth. And we can obviously see you know the settings, I mean the information about how well it is running right here. And if you're really interested in this sort of information, you can access all of this as well. So you load it, I'm gonna skip this, and there we go. So I am going to pause this now. I want to thank everyone for watching. Pretty simple stuff. If you do have any questions, like I said, feel free to post it on the XEMU channel on Discord. There'll be a link in the description. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.